shit. I like no battery. Anyway, uh, welcome to today's video where I am out on a bike ride. Um, it's gonna be a short one because I was planning to actually talk about what's gonna happen next, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough battery to do it. Just out on the Soloist, I put the 50 mil reserves in it with the Chris King hubs and it looks amazing. I don't have a huge amount of battery left of this GoPro, so I'm kind of freestyling it. I'm out today on a longer ride. <laughs> the aim is like over three and a half hours, close to five, all going well. I sort of loaded the shorter route this morning when I left. I felt better than I thought I would. So now loaded a longer route and we'll see how long that lasts. But yeah, out on the soloist, put the 50s on. This bike is exceptionally good as an all-rounder. Super impressed. I've got it built up. Voltegra 12-speed DI2, 5034 on the front, 1134 on the back, one-to-one -one ratio. Great when you live in the Peak District. Where there's a lot of climbing. Today's route is about 2,000 meters. Then the wheels I put on here, the ones that I built up, or oh, Charles built up while I was at Saddleback. It's a reserve 50s, Chris King hubs, Schraube Pro 1 tyres. Fast tyre, 28, bit narrower than what was on here before. But overall as a bike, as a versatile all-rounder bike, you know, it's not Cervelo's out and out climbing bike. It's not their out and out aero bike. If that's what you're looking for, you're looking at the R5 or the S5. Yeah, if you're looking for a climbing bike, you're probably better looking at the R5, looking for something more aero, the S5. So the Soloist kind of sits in the middle as a love child between the two. The bit I really love is they brought back the name, most of all. It's such an iconic bike back in its day. It's great to see it back in the collection of bikes from Zabello. So something I've definitely noticed that I've got older is my cadences on climbs are way more spinny. Like right now, 95, 100 RPM. It used to be like a 75, 80 all the time. I don't know whether that's just experience or I think a lot of it is down to experience, just understanding that actually for me, that higher cadence is way more efficient. This climb, the bigger traffic jam. basically done this route where I've just gone that looks interesting let's go that way and it's hard but llamas hello llamas hello just riding up Mam Tor which is one of the most beautiful climbs in the Peak District but a monster it's a part of this video that I wanted to do so part of what I wanted to talk about was what are the next challenge is. And I'm doing it slightly out of breath, but I'll explain why I'm doing a big ride today. And I'll say why at the end of the video when I get home, I'll tell you all about the challenge and also how you can get involved in it. Right, so the next big challenge. So this year we have the World Championships in the UK again 
for the first time in a few years. The last time I had it in the UK was 2019, which was a circuit that started in Leeds and went to Harrogate. Now, this year, we've got the World Championships in Glasgow. Now, for the first time, I think, in ever, there's going to be road, track, para, mountain bike, BMX, World Championships, all decided over the same couple of weeks in Glasgow here in the UK. Now, to celebrate this and to celebrate cycling in general, I'm going to be doing a ride which incorporates all the previous locations of the World Championships in the UK. So the previous locations we've had for World Championships in the UK are Goodwood, Leicester, Liverpool, Harrogate, and then Glasgow. So the ride I'm going to be doing is going to incorporate all of these cities and where I have been able to, to incorporate either the finishing circuit, the finishing slash start point of the race, or the route itself. Now, Liverpool, for example, was in 1922, so it's actually been pretty much impossible to find anything apart from the location of the velodrome where it started and finished, which is down on the seafront. The route will be starting in Goodwood, which was the 1982 Cycling World Championships. I'll then be riding the circuit in Goodwood before I head up to Leicester. Leicester was used for the Cycling World Championships in 1970, and then from Leicester, I'll be traveling my way by bike to Liverpool. Liverpool was the 1922 Cycling World Championships, and I'll be there riding from Liverpool to Leeds, which was the start of the 2019 edition of the World Championships. The route from Leeds to Harrogate basically heads north and then swings back down, and I'll be riding the complete route from 2019, and then the next day riding the finishing loop, which was used for the World Championships, men's and women's races. The plan then, having ridden to Harrogate and done the finishing circuit, will be to ride to Glasgow. Now that is actually like, 350, 400 kilometers. So it's a really big bike ride. So what I've done is I've split it into two rides. So riding from Harrogate to Carlisle and then Carlisle to Glasgow. Now, ultimately why I'm telling you all this is because I want people to come and join me on the ride and help celebrate cycling. I'll be putting a link to the tracker in the description of this video. So there will be a tracker which you'll be able to follow me. It's the same tracker that I used when I did the 107 Tour de France project and same sort of rules apply is like if you want to come and ride please 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 do it's about celebrating cycling and riding as a community of cyclists together as i travel up and down the country my biggest bit of advice if you do want to join on the ride is otherwise to be at the start that day i'll be starting generally quite early depends on the day and i'll put it up on social media what time i'll be starting normally probably something like seven or eight o'clock i guess it's really kind of dependent on when i can get breakfast at where i'm staying for the night the next biggest thing to say is if you do want to come on the ride, make sure you're self-sufficient. I do have a support car that's going to be with me, which is helping film the challenge and the ride itself. I'm not carrying loads of luggage this time. To me, to be honest, this is much more about celebrating cycling and going on an adventure and documenting that in the best possible way that I can. And I can with Jack, who's going to help film it for me. If you do want to meet en route at any point, the best bit of advice I can give you is to look at the tracker and ride in the opposite direction to the way that I'll be coming. It is mainly road, as far as I know, and what I hope, because I'll be on a road bike. So hopefully it provides an opportunity for loads of people to come along and join. It should be a really, really fun ride and trip. The plan is to start on the 28th of July, where I'll be riding the circuit that was used at the Goodwood World Championships. The 29th will be Goodwood to Leicester. The 30th will be Leicester to Liverpool. The 31st will be Liverpool to Leeds. The 1st of August will be Leeds to Harrogate following the 2019 World Championship route. The 2nd of August will be the Harrogate circuit that was used at the end of the World Championship route. 3rd of August, I'll be riding from Harrogate to Carlisle. And then the 4th of August will be Carlisle to Glasgow. I then plan to be in Glasgow for the World Championships for a couple of days watch some of the racing and just celebrate cycling and hang out really. So if you're around in Glasgow, please get in touch. But yeah, that is the next big bike challenge thing for me. It's not exactly what I originally planned to do this year, but bear in mind, I'm still recovering with the wrists. I'm really quite excited for this one actually to get back out on the road. So hopefully I might see you there. Drop me a comment in this video if you're planning to come along or drop me a message on Instagram just to let me know and hopefully I'll see you somewhere on the road as I travel from Goodwood to Glasgow to celebrate the Cycling World Championships. 
Have a good day.